is as old as humanity since the beginning of time and memorial. Throughout history and across all cultures, theater, music, dance, and art in general have been the core fabric in the progression and development of societies in the world. Performance art or performing arts is usually created through actions performed by artists which can be live on stage, recorded, spontaneous or scripted. Throughout the 20th century, performing arts was often seen as a non-traditional way of making art, bringing to life physical and movement on stage which offered artists an alternative from the static art of painting and sculpture. The theater performing arts was first introduced into Papua New Guinea in 1912 with the birth of Mosby Arts Theatre in Port Mosby. The theatre performance with audience were predominantly the expatriate communities. Back then, the country was administered under the Australian colonial administration. Before the independence, you know, got television, you know, got uh, laptop movie, you know, got uh, video, you know, got uh, phone where now you got, you know, now you download the one plus and you Google, so I'm kind of asset as well. This is the time, you talk about 1969, 1970, 71, 72. Theater has been started now, online way work long theater, I'm only looking for something, I'm looking for something, I'm looking for something, I'm looking for something. Wah bad lo tiada lo papa ni guni, emi nubla Jenny blong tiada, time emi start long 1975. Emu kebaut wan tem nubla ting ting lo yang pelaman Mary. Tetapi time oli 18 years old ikam ikam ablong 25 years 25 years old. The Round Round Theatre Company was first established on the 15th of March. 1975 by Greg Murphy, an Australian national who later became its founding director. The birth of Round Round Theatre was six months prior to Papua New Guinea gaining its political independence from Australia on the 16th of September 1975. The Round Round Theatre Company's humble beginning began out of Greg Murphy's residential area, initially starting with eight young male performers, namely William Doiki, late Hitz Loape, Sayo Awefa, and others. This last time when I came to study theatre, I was working in the theatre. I was looking for the man, looking for the show performance, I was looking for the show performance. Or tin or sem, ay or or Islam ba yam plamania, or mas long long o o or ino sem long long lo kain na kain komedy mi plak simol sem na koros tu mi plak lusi mol walk dieta but mi plak tok no nu plak walk so mi plak masi goyet so mi plak walk im dieta ikam. Em tok sem, you me try because Papua New Guinea rich culture na or traditional bilas na sing sing na. Story to Munana, so on. 
So mi pun pun dah lontis la kategori. So hamamas blog yang beraman meri, mi pun dah lontis setiap so. Kita istad lebih ni more interesting. Gambar big pula. No orang mangi yang beraman meri oleh hamamas terus setiap ta. As the years progressed, more trainee theatre artists were recruited from all over Papua New Guinea and trained. Round Round Theatre Company began to gradually expand to its full capacity in the area of theatre performing arts. I've been looking at Round Round Theatre and Nah, mi lukim all dance, nampak tu ayam, awal tu work dia tana. Mungkin mana mungkin lain, awal tu work dia tana. Awal bayi jenim nak kena sah. Time mi kam lo ayam, all bini kat one plat training, awal saya running. Saya training awal saya pem three kena nak kam. Lo every holiday. Mi kam in lo di sela now long, eighty two holiday. Ia training mi kam jenim sela now. Mi pem three kena belum ini muklo jenim all lo exercise sah. Training is one kind of aerobic, but there are more stretch, more movement, more uh, <coughs> exploring inside you yet you, you feel more so kind of thing. more theatrical. That's how we come in. The current existing facilities were built in 1980 with the close supervision under an Australian builder, Ron Maffey, who is also Greg Maffey's sibling. The architectural design of the building was undertaken by Frameworks Architects. These authentic contemporary facilities have been home to the popular Round Round Theatre Company for the past 43 years. I have been through long infrastructure development. Through Lord Sla CEO Blombla, Mr. Stephen Anom Kilanda. I'm coming and I'm working on renovation of the house. I'm working on 2019. Now I'm 23 and I'm working on a building, a two story. This is a new admin block. I'm going to come up and I'm going to come through the ministry, the minister, the CEOs. Blo mibla na CEO blo TPA oli luki mosem desla something infrastructure development emi emi vital na emi oli buklo pani money pani money lo making desla kama so thank you lo desla na house and pinis close to mibla open him na mibla ba make him all programs where mibla ina blo make him na all officers where can go inside lo group la office sit down na make him work long all currently a new modernized office complex has been constructed to be used as the administrative facility for the National Performing Arts Troop. This was made possible through funding from the Department of National Planning, channeled through to the National Cultural Commission and the Tourism Promotion Authority. The Round Round Theatre Company became quite popular around the world in the contemporary theatre performing arts, gaining much recognition and invitations to perform in international festivals, expositions and tours. The award-winning Papua New Guinea's version of folk opera that were showcased on the international stage where Legend of Jari, Sail the Midnight Sun, My Tide, Let Me Ride, Dance of the Snail, Sido, and Mahevehe. Some of the international festivals attended were 6th Asia Arts Festival, Momba Festival, Melbourne and Toowoomba Festival, Adelaide Arts Festival, Warana Festival in Australia, and in Bag International Festival in Scotland. It also staged performance at the World Expo in Brisbane, Australia in 1988, and four years later 
in 1992 at another World Expo in Spain. I think time around on the time start, I'm run good lo 13 to 14 years or so. From 1975, now come 13 to 14 years, I am run good. In the last 48 years, it wasn't just rosy for the theatre performing arts in Papua New Guinea. It encountered many challenges in its survival as an art. The major threat was felt when the television medium was first introduced into Papua New Guinea. Television had been coming to Papua New Guinea in 1988. Time television came in and I'm come on to all programs for the current affairs, 60 minutes, stage of audition, uh, Ray Martin midday show. Uh, all these uh, programs, I mean, uh, I'm come up with some like, cinema inside the house, like, one one Papua New Guinean. Now, television has been selling the store, meeting him, like, this like, time, you can buy him like, 350 kina, one to one like, little antenna, you go black in the like, power, now you can sell little antenna, like, back set them, all got a program, me to talk him, come on, the like, house, like, you. Time this time, like, come up, all man, he, Lusting thing like go around on theater. All stop the house now on the television now looking for pro favorite program role. This has somewhat attributed to its a significant drop in the popularity rating and following the theater performing arts had enjoyed in the past. So ever me blah bungi mem i kill him straight theater. Do I do I empinis? Around we see empinis. We said meeting to all call him maboro set theater. M two empinis. Despite those challenges faced, Round Round Theater Company and the National Cultural Commission of Papua New Guinea continue to maintain the legacy of this iconic institution and its ideals over the years. The National Cultural Commission Act of 1994 saw the amalgamation of the Round Round Theatre Company with the National Theatre Company into a single entity renamed to the National Performing Arts Troupe. Under this new entity, the National Performing Arts Troupe continued to produce many stage productions, namely Nokondi, Tumbuna, John Friel's production titled The Quest for Anutu, Mangi Natin, Circle of Life, and many others. The National Performing Arts Troupe is also engaged in other cultural and livelihood programs like Pikinini Festival, Houseman, House Merry Program, Children's Theatre Training Program, Belasim Skin Festival, the spirit of Round Round Theatre, Network, and many more. Na school only the program we block lor only me me. One block program we block starting lor 25, 13. We block small school beginning we come put them all one block. We small Papa na Mama lor place come put them all na all come up teacher na sorry lor lor life blow. All pin some name great. All work where all return a stop where. I must be beginning only that or booming baby or so and life story blow one one papa and mama lo community also come the story will beginning. One I must make making more sense because all legally beginning blow you me today, you may need to give all directions. Uh, that is why all lead a man blow you belong outland also come and give story, lo this is a school of the program. Uh, so all must look savage or higher. 
Papa ya mbik pla manta sol. Em start lo. This la humble beginning na kami golsem na em start lo sem. Mani ga trip la bus, mani ga tent la bus, mani ga tent pet taxi, mani ga plan di coffee garden. All garden sel lain mas kami na story lo beginning. So school lo lihat program yang belok lo roni memi. Help him through all beginning ni lo harim story lo you na mi lo this la kain time. Over the last 48 years, the National Performing Arts Troupe has gained a world of experience as an institution by identifying its successes and challenges accumulated whilst practicing the art of theatre performing arts in Papua New Guinea. The immediate challenge going forward for the National Performing Arts Troupe is to scope a way forward in terms of its long-term organizational plan in alignment with the National Cultural Commission's long-term organizational plan cascading to the national government's plan, the Papua New Guinea Vision 2050. More so, there is an immense need for relevant sectors or levels of governance to assist the theatre performing arts find its space by integrating into the existing formal government system for a wider acceptance. This will lead to a robust and productive development of theatre performing arts in Papua New Guinea going into the future.